yes. Jump those glasses. Jump those glasses. Yes. Right, that's it. I don't have a glass. Just but flip, 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 flip. All right. Hey, love it. Love it. So it's successful scissors. Amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today welcome back to the Real Housewives of Lagos uh, The Reunion Season 2 Yes, I just woke up today. I'm like, you know what? I'm not even gonna waste any time because I know you're all waiting for all the tea Oh my god, I mean, I'm still like, you know still thinking about last week and it was like fire and it was like drama and they're giving us everything and let me just tell y'all this week is not different at all they're all bringing it so what are we waiting for um if you're not already subscribed to my channel please 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 hit that subscription button and turn on the post notification give this video a huge thumbs up and before for that i do let's get into this review oh my god this is just absolutely funny so um from the beginning right um my boy uh, the host you know kind of ask um Chioma and tiana like you know is it like a beef between them and you know what not and you know so you know Mama, let's take a look i'm a star maker you can't do my shine my style is different from your style looking good is good business and i believe dress how you want to be addressed and then they just kind of like bring it back to get to the back uh you know previous episode where tiana was saying that confessional like oh um nobody can do my shine blah 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 and uh and then you know chama also mentioned like you know what looking good is good business so um you know i mean i kind of like feel like there is a, a little bit of a competition between um, Tiana and Chioma. You know, like, y'all know, Chioma is the queen, the queen of fashion. She loves to look good. And girl, I am not gonna lie, it is amazing to just look good because you need to set the tone, right? dress the way you want people to approach you so if you dress like i'm gonna meet the president girl you're gonna be meeting the president so that's just it so um with chama dressing um i'm not even you know mad about it but also tiana is kind of like kind of like hiding her in some kind of way like uh you know she also she's creative with her style i'm not gonna lie her style is a bit hedgy um you know if you're into that kind of style uh I, for with like tiana's style is too much for me i cannot wear a lot of things that she wears um I mean, if it's like a, there is like occasion, um, it she wear more like costume, if that makes sense. Uh, so I don't see the competition uh, between them. What I will wear, you can't wear. If you wear, you look like a mad person. Yeah, you have right because they have two different styles. So I can't say Chioma is hating on her. Uh, she she wants to compete with. However, mention something like um, Chioma always, you know, try to make an entrance, or when they're leaving somewhere, she has to leave last, or you know, just to make a statement. And my God, Chioma said, you know, that's not the case. You know, I'm just who I am, and you just gotta deal with it. Hey. Chum chum. <laughs> okay, you know I have to ask this. When you said when you said on that clip that there's nothing to compete with, what do you mean? I feel like funny enough, Tone Tone's style is very different to my style. Do you understand? Like she's she does her like, you know, artist. Like I would never Did work for And 
own girl tiana is not having it like I, like honestly it's right now that i'm seeing like you know they had issue though because usually i always thought like you know tiana just make comments here and there uh about chioma like you know or, or lateness or style i didn't really sense any like tension between them not just right now and then they're just like you know going at each other like oh you're jealous of me you're jealous of my style you're jealous of these i'm like wait what did i miss something y'all can you comment below and let me know like do you think that there's beef between chioma and tiana or they're just kind of stretching things and they just or maybe these things happen behind the scenes and we didn't know you know the you already, statement number one I would make things, Yabo knows that I've been styling her for years, plus a lot of international celebrities, local celebrities. My personal style is different from what I do. I would literally make everything they're wearing right now for my clients. But when I show up, I wear something avant-garde, artistic. That is my personal style. place. Because, and then they were like arguing also that, oh, Tiana was saying, oh, but Chioma, you, you know, you asked me to, uh, design some you know stuff for you especially at Laura's fashion show y'all remember Laura's fashion show yes um again Chioma said that is not the case I didn't tell you even if I had asked you I don't think for you to bring out your phone and start showing me um, the design at Laura's uh, fashion show was so disrespectful that you could have um, you know show me this some other time uh, not taken away from Laura which I totally get you know just to respect the uh, the lady of the hour which is Laura so like why would you be showing but then again they just keep going on and on like i never asked you that oh you you didn't ask me girl i'm gonna get your ass i'm like oh my lord you people are grown ass like grown ass women why are you acting like children like literally they're acting like they're in a primary school listen i can't even like ugh, honestly so yeah and i ate bad bad meat and i never went publicly to say oh i did this uh chairman so regardless of whatever you're just doing that now or... tell me make it make sense first of all what she's talking about excuse at the me. fashion show when she said that what the latest excuse thing, me. What's the latest I'm, thing? I'm i got that before you so if anything myself. you were late so who was bullying you that doesn't make any sense who was bullying you don't sit me down and tell me oh and tiana just went ahead and she just keep going at Chioma, like literally, I feel like the first um, 30 minutes of this reunion uh, was just about both of them going at each other, like, uh, you're lying, you're this, oh, Chioma is that, like, they just kind of like, oh my god, uh, they even like had a break, wait, um <laughs> one sec so mariam left the show because she said like okay guys it's okay all right let's move on let's you know continue the conversation it's not just about you two right and then they kept quiet and then uh tiana keep going in yoruba and she was like you better speak in english okay don't give me that yoruba nonsense and then yaba was like uh well he said i'm not saying like yoruba is like you know a bad thing i just mean like you speak in english so that i can understand you or else i am gonna go in yibo on your ass okay girl bring it and then they keep going and then going they went on the after the break they still they're still going at each other i'm like oh who want them today like literally what she's talking about excuse at the me. fashion show when she said that what the latest excuse thing me. what's the latest I'm, thing I'm i got that before you so if anything myself. you were late you know, so who was bullying you that doesn't make any sense who was bullying you don't sit me down and tell me oh how wow 
Why are you putting powder on your face? Are you that ugly? I don't understand. That's yeah. a bunny statement. What is going on? Like two literally two hours later like thank god for editing and literally on my screen i'm like seeing two hours later like they were literally still going at each other after two hours like who has that like strength and energy to just be arguing with someone that supposedly is not even like your friend like you don't care about like seriously just move it on like okay you said that i said that who says what honestly it's childish behavior you guys should know how to just act accordingly amongst each other you know like everybody we're not the same especially like you guys are six women and you're not gonna be the same you're not gonna be the same person even with your sister you can you your character would be different from your sister so i would think that they will have the decency to just you know be cordial and in this case, I, I no, I, I honestly, I feel like Tiana just came to fight. Yeah, because you you remember she was literally going at it with Caroline um, last week, and then this week she literally going after Chioma. Okay, I don't know what to say. I'm still speechless. They keep going. Why would you, so, why would you make that kind it's of statement? It's a police statement. What it did is. you say? What kind of statement is what that? What did you say? It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, what did you say? I feel like, what did you honestly, say before Chloe I said is that? probably in competition because I With don't watch who? what she's doing. Yeah, exactly. want to bow for one another, you know, so they're just like, yeah, I'm right. You're right. Like, girl, ain't nobody right. Let's move it on and end of discussion. They don't want that. They don't want that. I don't know what they want. <laughs> <laughs> focus on your focus. Yeah, that's what she said. Yourself. Nice work, and that's bullshit. I told them people yes, nice same way you sat down and said that I was showing you my collection at Laura's fashion show, which you know that you asked me to make things for you, and I was showing you all the things. You even saw the realest clothes, and you asked me, did you make that? I said yes, and I was showing you other things. I okay, Tony, why would you, you pick at Laura's fashion show to show me the what things that I was just like crossing the line? Like, we don't need to use our hands or throwing punches. You're already using your words. I mean, okay, you you're are not using your words correctly. Um, but still, like, when you say something, it's different from, like, literally being physical with someone. And she stood up and uh, Chama was still sitting. So, and girl, aren't you supposed to be pregnant? I mean, are you supposed to be fighting in this condition? Um, please, like, enlighten me. I was showing you my collector. Oh, no, 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 you say that. That's that. that. something me to say. That's something me to say. That is something me to say. You are not a good person. You are trying to sell a bad narrative because I was looking like Laura then. You are saying I'm showing you my collection at Laura's show. Why? Why would I show you my collection there? But you are showing me. Why me? Like, why would you be making trouble? Why you know you are in this um delicate um you know position you are pregnant you should just be like chilling and just enjoying your you know peace and you know just having a great time and let them just fight and you just sit there and just you know enjoy your life but apparently maybe pregnancy make you go like you know all the hormones and stuff i have no idea but tiana is literally cuckoo in the head i'm telling y'all your focus. Your focus on your thing, focus. You're always talking down. People focus think that maybe you're talking down on. Who am I talking down on? Why are you having a complex? My dear, I, think I think I'm better than you. I think I'm better than you. I don't. I think I'm better than you. Why you have a complex? I do not better than you. Don't you try me? I will slap your fucking face. I don't hear where any two is. Guys, is it just me? I feel like Diana is street, right? She's literally in the street. She's like anything you would know that she's like oh, you know always hanging out with the guys you know all the street guys like she is she has everything she'd be like are you this oh are you like girl be a lady and stuff like ugh, acting so ras <laughs> why <laughs> have some class come on 
right literally she no she's not my favorite she's literally classless honestly so yeah moving on from this drama because we're just not gonna sit here and just listen to you know tiana and, and choma just going at each other like whatever so yeah moving on so yeah they kind of like show us oh no also the highlight of choma and caroline's friendship yeah like honestly at uh, their friendships or like you know friendship goals they went like you know had for each other from the beginning um yeah which is surprising to me i mean surprisingly i didn't see the fight coming with them like i wouldn't even think that they would fight at all but again it is what it is um so yeah choma and caroline gave us friendship goals didn't they but in tiana's words every friendship is subject to change the queen arrives my baby girl my barbie doll i'm not coming to greet you who is that go back are you getting married they were kind of asking like oh choma um is there like any salvation for your friendship do you think y'all would amend this y'all will be like you know be able to move past this situation and be friends again um and chioma kind of like said okay it's just a lie for me right that karuna lies a lot if she would change and be more truthful then maybe um that yeah so again caroline nobody knows um i mean i mean she talks with confidence and stuff so if like not one and not two and not even three people are saying that she's lying then girl you gotta check yourself because that's what everybody keeps saying that you lie so girl why would why are you gonna be lying just speak your fruit like that's it it's easy I mean, obviously, it seemed as though I had maybe just told her and, you know, she now used it in the argument. I didn't say anything. No, I mentioned that thing at the boho party, which was like two and a half months or three months. This That was literally at the beginning of the season. I don't like it. Don't do that next time. Jenison, I can't keep telling you things or you tell me things. I mean... And then, then we moved to Caroline, like, OK, uh, can you amend your friendship, blah, blah, blah. And then Caroline says, like, point and blank. And I called, like, our friendship is over. Like, it is zero. We're never going to be friends again. So that kind of just, like, summarized all the good times that Chioma clearly missed. You know, she said, okay, we did actually have great times together. We have fun together. She has to stop you? with the lies. What you know you what? When I say things behind you, I say it's in front of you. I'm done with the friendship. Together. And um, also, Caroline said, oh, I see her as my sister. Even though she's like, I'm like one year older than her, which we don't know. Again, Caroline is a liar. So, homegirl, we don't know. <laughs> so. Little sister. Yes, I'm older than her. Just by a year. Oh, 15, but, but she loves fashion. She loves the good things of life. She's kind of At first. Cool. And again, like I forgot to say that um then he, he sort of asked them, like, okay, what you know, how how did their you know fights started, you know, and they they kinda of like saw like you know when caroline sort of like threw her under the bus like you know that sort of like it's helpful even though chama said it's fine it's okay 
but it wasn't kind of like good when your friend told you something and then where because you're upset you just kind of like threw her under the bus we speak of course she tells me a lot of things so imagine if every single time you know something happens i just bring up everything that you said you know i guess you're not supposed to do that as girls it's just like a number 10 code you know so i didn't really like it but i told her how i felt she apologized with regards to choma and also um you know caroline said that ah she wasn't literally like looking for uh fault in choma or like you know fight or you know what is like hand their friendship but i mean it just it is what it is it just sort of happened and everybody just moving on yeah okay so yeah mm, i don't think i was actually looking out for a red flag with Chioma, to be sincere because to me she wasn't really my problem she didn't give me any problems it was just basically Laura, which I do understand. Do you understand? So yeah, they kind of like went to uh, Mariam, um, and like yeah, Mariam didn't really have an issue to be honest. She she just kind of like complained about you know when she got the kitty's room and that wasn't fair to her. Um, even though that she was promised like a bigger room uh, from you know when they were in Nigeria so yeah and then Tiana just kind of like said oh well did you die no you didn't die so what's your you know issue but it's just kind of like they they didn't like kind of have like a confrontation with each other or argument they just kind of like laugh it up and brush it up they were just like literally like playing with each other there so it's fine they really didn't have any issues honestly you know mariam is playful so she I'm not I don't think she's like in this reunion to come and you know fight someone Me Dubai to Nigeria my am shut up no time to listen shut up shut up listen shut up I didn't know I don't think but shut up stop shut up stop shut up shut up shut up your sticky mouth shut up sticky mouth don't remove my wings you want to get me rules no this is love this is love rules are and then uh well we ask uh what homeboy asked uh, Caroline like hey did you you know did you actually find that bracelet the one that you know you were like literally crying about uh, and she said that she never did she had um, sent uh, an email to the production you know yada 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 they couldn't find it well girl I hope you found it but then if you enjoy it then you shouldn't be worried because your insurance will cover it so that's why you know, if you have expensive stuff, you should get insurance. Yeah, always insure your properties. And then Caroline, did we ever find that bracelet? No, I sent emails. Oh, um, the so production sorry. sent emails as well. It wasn't found, unfortunately. My apologies. It's fine. Sorry. So I don't think um, it, that would be a sweat for her because if she has insured uh, the bracelet, then no biggie right uh, it was uh then it went to yabo you know like why they had an issue with Car what caroline could have an issue because they didn't like follow the plan y'all remember when they kind of like said that they would all ignore laura because they didn't trust that she would um follow through with not gonna stop drama in dubai um so kind of like and yeah well kind of like explain herself like um yeah she didn't trust laura that she wasn't gonna um start any drama uh but then again like she did just kind of like live in the head like you know let's see what's gonna happen because so one minute laura would say i'm fine and i'm good and i'm you know all right and then the next minute she's coming with like moodiness like oh i'm leaving oh i've got kids or i've got that or i have to do this and then she just always like start the drama probably being angry at the group for possibly not sticking to the plan which is obviously operation ignore laura why why was that 
Mm. Why did okay, you sing so, that? So yes, um, because Laura was annoying us, we decided to avoid her. So we that didn't. Want to... club. So she kind of like said that yeah, they they decided to you know to avoid Laura because she was annoying them. Yabo said that she didn't have a great time at the uh, Billionaires Club and, um, and then she was just going on like she's not uh, when she is upset like or you know she's in that in that mood and she just wanted to uh, you know be mad and just be upset and even though you've apologized like she's still entitled to her anger why why was it so emotional okay so you? when caroline and um Chema got on the boat i noticed caroline wasn't too happy but i didn't know what was going on with her because i mean i didn't leave i didn't leave the hotel with them so i didn't know but i noticed that she was a bit moody at a time and just so until she get out of that anger like even though if you if you apologize like okay of i've heard your apology but i'm still entitled to being upset uh so that I, I kind of caroline was like oh but i apologize but i i gave you a gift okay you gave me a gift but that doesn't still like excuse that i am still upset with your behavior with what you did and you know the way you spoke to me regarding that situation again i understand everybody is entitled to their anger um you know as laura said that she can go years for still being upset um i can't hold grudges because i can't even like if i'm mad at you right now i'm like hot and i just want to like you know talk to you about it like let hash it out and that is it i'm not the one to keep grudges for years not even one night i wouldn't be able to sleep but then again we are different people um i guess uh yabo and laura has the same character um so to speak um so yeah she also could you know keep grudges for years to watch your back bitches yeah, but is not the one to mess with, and Laura, you understand that? I cannot go away because you've hurt me, you know, in a place that it's really deep. I don't cry. I can only cry for my children. I don't. If I cry, I'm pained, and it has gotten somewhere wrong in my own system. So I, I yes. will. While she was saying that, um, Tiana just bought in. And like you know, like looking at her like, um, and then it's like what? And then Caroline was like, "What is it? What do you want? Are you like blind? Do you need glasses? Do you, you know, it, that was literally was funny. Like, what is going on with these ladies? I do not understand, girl. That's who I am. I'm sorry for those who don't like me, but that's me." Do you understand? If you know you don't want my drama, don't bring, don't bring it near me. Don't hurt me. Because when you hurt me, like she said, it doesn't hurt. It goes on and on and on. You know, I'm okay. Because okay. when she went on you raising need, her you voice need at me, you need more shades. You are sorry. Do you understand? Do it. So yeah, and then moving on to uh, home girl Mariam, but a gift for Caroline. So y'all remember, um, I think at, at Caroline's, um, no, sorry, scratch that. Um, y'all remember at uh, Mariam's dinner, I think Caroline brought her a gift. So um, she's literally returning the gift uh, with a letter uh, because uh, apparently, uh, some people, or maybe Caroline said that she is not to be trusted. She is um, always, you know, doing magic, um, so doing heat at her house. You know, she was a warning um, Chama not to heat at the house, not to, and if they offer her water, she should make sure she opened the water herself um or like you know she should just say that oh something is wrong with her stomach and she can't eat um 
that she does magic black magic or um ritualist or something like that um i don't know what brought that up i don't know what gave her the impression that mariam is that kind of person uh but what they said what they said and mariam also just kind of like flare up that that's why she's returning a gift and um yeah she went and i'll show you the open it thank you but let me finish what i was telling her i'll let you know i like sex I don't so know. you might as well play around i need a knife to open it you cut it you have to i'm sure oh, you. Let me, i don't have it let me let me try let me help you guys there thank you that of uh when to uh, Caroline and the Choma were just kind of like going at each other that they were asking about um you know the other girls um and then it was like I never said that and um you know she doesn't want to be friends with Miriam it even showed on camera Chama, you were when the we had that conversation that told hold on I never said that anything do, about that Miriam I should not this be nice to Miriam like... because you don't want Miriam to be one of the wives you said that in our future. By the way, let me make Caroline, this clear. Let me, let me, let me. So again, the chairman is saying, "Oh, Ch uh, Caroline is lying that she never said anything of such," uh, because you know she keeps saying that they were raised, and she's like, "Okay, the first time that they had um, a meeting, that they kind of connected, you know, she never said that." Mariam, why are you uh, Inside. giving the gift The reason back? why I, I returned Caroline's gift was, I'm going to go back to when I met Caroline. Yes, we had probably like little, I will call it Tasheri. Yeah, the first I wasn't time we to went you. to the beach, Caroline, this lady hold asked on, me about Tony. Let me land. I, said, I asked you about Tony. Come nice talk to uh, The guy was asking Laura that, um, were you like just excited um, when the shit, hit the fan like when all of them just kind of start fighting each other were you like ex excited because like she kind of like saw like a clip of laura just like you know just praising god like oh my god you are a wonderful god like you did this and that laura said yeah of course that like, she didn't see the fight coming um even when they were fighting like she wouldn't be there and um when they had a fight in um i think in dubai um choma wouldn't let laura in to see but then again like she's just surprised and she's just seen everything now but yeah she's just excited and homegirl is not even like hiding it she's all smiling and like girl i'll be smiling too like ah oh my enemies they're all like fighting each other. Hey, that is, you know, the the real thing. <laughs> Beginning of the season, did you kind of feel redeemed at this point? Because, you know, there's that clip of you saying, I'm the, the, <laughs> seven, the God of Miracle, you know? Um, so, yeah, how, just watching how things played out, did you feel redeemed in any way? I didn't see it coming, but yeah, I did. I didn't see the, the fight. And Caroline. Yeah, I so saw that is the end of the drama, to be honest. And uh, it just kind of like sort of asked for them that, hey, this is the end of the season one of The Real Housewives of Lagos. Um, and from here on, what are you guys going to be up to? What is it in store for you guys? You know, and they all just kind of like say, um, you know, what they will be up to what you know every adventure they would be you know going through now after the show um ended um and also they're just like grateful I and mean, some of them even like tiana was like oh because you know she launched um uh daughter's um is a hairline on the show also and it's doing great um she, Chama also said you know she's going to concentrate on that lore and blah, blah, blah. And Mariam also said uh, she would be, uh, she did she has some project that she's not sharing with us, but she would, we would know in due time. Uh, Yabo also is like, you know what, more, you know, of everything for her. 
um you know more production i guess uh, acting um you know more reality shows you know and Laura also said the same thing, like, oh, she probably more re reality shows because she had this cooking show with our sister's uh, company or whatever. Um, and Tiana also said she was going to Oshodi. I don't know where she was going to Oshodi. Um, but yeah, she also just, you know, sort of like, um, yeah, that she had, you know, some project that she's doing, that everything will be coming out and they're like oh, okay so we're excited for season two season two who is excited for season two can you comment below let me know if you're excited for season two they didn't let us know who is going to be in season two or even if any of them will still be in season two but we will all see when season two is out first real housewives of lagos it has been feisty it has been hot and certainly emotional. But above all things, it's been real. Ladies, where to from here? Starting with you, Tiana. Oh. Where to from here? Obum Life, career, Obum love. Show. Huh? Yeah. Obum um, yeah, and then they all had champagne, and that was the end of this. Not a lot of, not too much drama, but enough drama to just keep our mouth watering yes i know so yeah guys um comment below let me on let me know what y'all think about this are we excited for season two um yeah what do you want to see next from me i know like i'm not the best at doing this but i'm gonna get better i promise um i'm gonna make sure that i would do the best that I can and practice a lot before season two so that I can give y'all the best okay it's gonna be lit okay so we're just waiting hopefully season two comes out soon and in the meantime don't forget to check out my videos I will be posting more often now and i'll give you everything okay all right just you know stay tuned and support your girl i will be giving you fashion giving you hair giving you workout what what else i will be doing some vlogs or travel vlogs and um so keep stay tuned on my channel and hit that subscription button you know click on the nose put the <laughs> Click on the notification so that you are always notified every time that I upload and I'll catch you all in my next video and peace out.